Hello Capricorn. My name is Renee and this welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of your support, your likes and subscribes, and your comments. Capricorn, this is your reading for 2023. This is what you can expect for 2023. What can Capricorn expect coming this new year? What can Capricorn expect in 2023? Okay. We have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, so Capricorn, you're showing up in a very strong position. Um, the King of Pentacles. This Capricorn Aquarius energy. Okay, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Magician. This to her, okay. What else do we have for Capricorn 2023? We have the Death card. Strong energy so far, Capricorn. The Nine of Cups. The strength. You have the strength card. Lots of major arcana here. You have the ten of swords. You have the knight of cups. And you have the hierophants. Wow, lots of major arcana here. This is a really strong message for Capricorn and Capricorn. What you don't see on the bottom, another major arcana, the tower. This is a very strong message of change. I feel like something is coming to an end that will bring a very strong and powerful new beginning. I feel like something's ending to bring you something so much better, so much stronger, so much wiser. And I feel like this is universe letting you know that whatever you had that's going to crumble, something needs to crumble in order for this new beginning to submerge because something wasn't built on solid ground. Something wasn't stable enough to endure. So something is going to fall so that something better can emerge. This is your blessing in disguise. This is huge dynamic change coming into view for Capricorn in the year 2023. Very strong message, Capricorn. Very strong message. Okay, Capricorn. So we're starting out this reading with the King of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So Capricorn, yes, you are very strong. You're very wise. I feel like you are going to gain your abundance. You're definitely going to get some kind of increase this year. This year, you may go through a job change. You may go through some kind of financial up, uprise. Some kind of financial victory. That's going to make you very happy, very successful. The Six of Wands, this is your success. This is your victory. Is is being noticed, being watched. People are watching you. They're watching what you do to be successful. 
they have their eyes on you, Capricorn. I feel like you're very, very popular. Um, if you're in a social setting, I feel like you're going to be the spotlight. Definitely the star of the spotlight. You have the magician and the star. So I definitely feel like you, in 2023, you're creating something very powerful in your life. This is a new creation. You're bringing some ideas, some works that you're into down to earth. You're making a dream your reality. You're manifesting something into your life. And you have all the tools, all the resources that you need to bring this to life. And I feel like whatever this is, this is going to be a very strong, very hopeful new beginning. This is you being the spotlight, spreading your wealth and your balance. I feel like you, <laughs> this, this is a, what I want to say is you're bringing your miracles to life. That's how, I, that, that's what I want to say about that. I feel like you're bringing your miracles to life. And with the death card, I feel like you're making a total You're making a total transformation. These are huge, especially with the tower. The, this is going to be a year that's very different from any other year you experienced, I believe. I believe you're going to have so many big changes come into your life. And I don't think, you know, it's not going to be all... Um, snap dragons and roses you know you're going to have some challenges that you're going to face you're going to have some obstacles but i feel like you are fully equipped to take on any obstacle any challenge that you're going to face with strength and wisdom i feel like you're going to totally endure anything that comes your way and you're going to come out very successful because you have the nine of cups and the strength so i feel like something is flowing you into your destiny this is true abundance this is good health i feel like you're being courageous and fearless going into this i feel like you're not you're not letting anything slip past you you're taking care of all of the details and you're doing it with love and appreciation i feel like you're truly appreciating everything that you've accomplished i feel like a lot of your goals a lot of achievements are coming to the to you this year and like i said there is something that's going to end um something within this big change you're put into rest but i feel like it's all for the good i feel like you're you're still coming through this situation very hopeful very you're coming through this these changes almost proposing for a new day this could also be love coming in this could also be you proposing or taking advantage of some sort of love offer but I feel like this is you really 
going for your heart's desire. I feel like you're very passionate about what you want to explore. And I really feel like you're exploring the world. You're taking on a lot of new thought processes with the Hierophants. I feel like you... <clears throat> Like you're studying, like not only studying, but you're also teaching, you're advising. You're also gaining a new perspective, putting away beliefs that no longer serve you. I know this is not the high priestess and the high priestess trusts her intuition. She's very intuitive. But with this Hierophant card, I really feel like you're leading by spirit. I feel like you're following your intuition very strongly. And I feel like your third eye is wide open. I feel like you see the direction that you're going through. You see the direction that the universe is taking you on. And I, I feel like you're following that direction. But I also feel like you're leading yourself into this next new adventure. It's very confusing to me. Capricorn. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I, I strongly feel like there is so much success in 2023. I feel like it's going to be a dream come true. Something's going to unfold that you aren't, you aren't expecting. And that may be this tower, but I feel like it's for your greater good. It's all going to work out for the best. It's going to work out better than you expect. It's going to leave you in a better place than the place you left. Very interesting, Capricorn. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so I think that in 2023, I think you're going to be making some very wise financial decisions. I feel like you, you will be juggling options, but I feel like the options that you take are going to be the right ones for you. I feel like it all balances out in your favor. I feel like you're setting good priorities. Um, like I said, it's not without any challenges or obstacles. So there may be heartbreak in 2023. There may be something that leaves you discouraged or something that leaves you with doubts. What is this three of swords? Okay, something that you planned just doesn't work out right some part of your plan maybe travel plans maybe something and maybe you're waiting for results you're waiting for something to happen and it leaves you very discouraged but something about plans and waiting is leaving you very discouraged but you will be socializing a lot. You will be collaborating with the team. You will be spending time with family and friends. So if this is a job experience, I feel like you'll be working on projects with other coworkers or a part of a team. And now look at this. You've got the Nine of Cups. You've got the Nine of Cups twice. Double wishes. This is definitely a confirmation that 
something is materializing something is coming through that's going to leave you more abundant more happy more prosperous than where you left off in 2022 2023 is going to be very prosperous very abundant for you i feel like some sort of wish that you've been wanting is coming true that's a total confirmation the nine of cups twice wow okay and you have the seven of wands so yeah i feel like you're gonna stand up for something that you believe in in 2023 you're gonna follow your belief system you're gonna stand up for whatever it is that you believe in and You're going to protect that. You're protecting what it is you believe. Okay, at the bottom, what you don't expect is the Six of Pentacles. So I, I, I do believe that someone is going to give you a gift. Someone is going to give you something that you least expect. It's going to leave you guessing. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm being left guessing. You have the strength card twice as well. So this is confirmation that you have strength. You are fearless. You are courageous. You can handle whatever obstacles, whatever barriers come your way. You can handle all of that with ease. You have double strength. And you also have... The Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. So this is definitely, definitely going to be a, an abundant year for you. Something's coming through for you, Capricorn. I don't know if it's a, a new job. Some kind of new project that you're working on. Maybe a side hustle or a new business that you're thinking about starting and you haven't started yet. But I feel like something is going to be a very strong and lucrative new beginning something's going to bring you promotion new income somewhere where you invested maybe you, it's even that you just invested your time but something is going to give you back more than what you gave it's it's going to be like a hundred plus percent return Interesting message, Capricorn. Very interesting message. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's get some Oracle cards. Let's see where this lead is leading for Capricorn. Because this one's got me kind of baffled. I'm not sure where it's leading. I know it's very abundant. It, I, I can see that your wishes are coming true. I can see that you're very strong you're very capable you're very wise you're gaining a lot of knowledge and healing and transformation and spirituality i feel like <laughs> you're gaining a lot this year capricorn but still i'm i'm feeling kind of i don't know maybe that's what this is I'm feeling impatient because I want to know what this is. Um, yeah, I, I feel like, you know, because there may be something that you're waiting on the results for, I feel like you're going to have moments of impatience. You're going to want to see the outcome. But relax. I feel like your outcome is very bright. And stay prayed up. Definitely stay prayed up. And I feel like you're being very spiritual with the star card and the hierophants. I feel like you're being very spiritual. You're you're the with the death card. This is a new transformation. This is you transforming yourself into a new creation. Exactly. Thank you, Spirit. 
Yeah, you've transformed yourself into a new creation. You're new with the star. Wow, okay. What else do we have for Capricorn? 20, 23. What can Capricorn expect? <clears throat> this is your card, Capricorn. Earth magic. This is definitely Capricorn energy. Earth magic. Definitely. Yeah. Wow. And you have a perfect harmony. So, yeah, I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of great joy. And definitely what I was saying. I was saying this, Capricorn. You're going to be discovering new things. Maybe something that you've never discovered. You're going to be going to new places. Maybe even new feelings within you. Um, but this is definitely something that you haven't experienced this is going to be a total transformation some new beginning a total renewal some place you've never been beautiful energy capricorn let's get a, a architect card i can't even say the words okay let's get an architect card for capricorn for 2023 The, the Nados, and you have vision on the bottom. So, yeah, I, like I said, I feel like you're totally transforming your perspective. You're totally seeing things in a brand new light. Okay, getting into this card. This card, the Nados. Is another death card so what this means Capricorn it doesn't mean death it can mean a spiritual awakening but it is confirmation that there is total transformation in your life especially with the tower card that came up in the beginning with the tower this is going to be huge huge change huge change now don't get all worried and you know feel like you know something is is coming that's grim and dreary and all this kind of stuff no, this is very spiritual. This is prayer, magic. This is something that is bringing you strength. Your wish is coming true. This is something that's going to be very, very powerful coming in your life, Capricorn. This is powerful, dramatic change. And I feel like this is, this is definitely going to be a year that you, you may never forget. Because the, the, the impact of these changes are going to be so life changing. What manifestation cards do we have for Capricorn? This, this is really a very inspirational reading, Capricorn. Very inspiring. Okay. Yes, Capricorn. First quarter moon in Taurus. Release control. Let the universe guide you. With the tower card it's obviously redirecting you into another direction 
the the tower can be a nudge it can be a pretty powerful nudge but a tower card is a nudge from the universe to redirect redirect you into the way the universe wants you to go so release control let the universe guide you in your decisions in your life and i think you'll be very well impacted full moon in scorpio breathe through the tension okay i'm gonna take one more okay at the bottom we have full moon in sagittarius see the bigger picture Take time to see the bigger picture. You're moving in another direction, Capricorn. And actually two wanted to come out, so we'll take both of these. Okay, Capricorn, first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. Whatever gifts you are giving, whatever benefits you receive, abundance, happiness, love, even breakthroughs. Be humble. And new moon in Pisces. Attune to the divine. You know, that goes with, with prayer and with the Hierophant. Stay close to your spirituality. Stay close to your spiritual self. Be one with spirit, with your guides, with the divine, the higher power, whatever it is that you believe in, be closer. Stay up in prayer. Stay up in getting close to that spiritual side of yourself. And last but not, not least, be proud of yourself, Capricorn. You've made it a long way. You've had a breakthrough. This is a very strong, very powerful breakthrough. And I feel like it's going to take you through uncharted sea. So be wise, be creative, be brave, be fearless, be strong, be proud of yourself, Capricorn. That is your reading. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And Capricorn, many, many blessings to you. Happy New Year and love and light.